2022 Toyota Tundra TRD Pro First Test, we expected better. Pros Strong, relatively efficient engine. Traction, clearance, and articulation off-road. Tough, trophy truck looks. Cons Poor perceived quality. Troubling towing behavior. Questionable user interface decisions. In a perfect world, all cars would be flawless and our jobs would be obsolete. Perfection is rarely the reality, though, and that quickly brings us to the new Toyota Tundra TRD Pro. We waited 15 years for a redesigned Tundra, and the result is not without its virtues. But this TRD Pro nevertheless fell notably below our expectations. It's the TRD Pro, bro. Let's set the table. The redesigned Tundra is a drastically different vehicle than that which took home our Truck of the Year trophy in 2007, according to the chief engineer, every nut and bolt is new. Today, Toyota's big pickup rides on the same platform as the also redesigned Sequoia and not for America Land Cruiser. The TRD Pro is the athlete of the Tundra lineup, as well as outside the luxury-oriented capstone, the most expensive trim of the bunch. The hardware that looks to justify its $70,000 price tag includes Fox 2.5-inch internal bypass remote reservoir shocks and a 1.1-inch front-end lift, which cover the suspension changes. Toyota also adds an aluminum TRD front skid plate, additional underbody protection, a trim-specific front anti-roll bar, and 18-inch TRD wheels wrapped in all-terrain rubber. A locking rear differential and standard 4WD improved traction. Off-road modes and hill descent control are standard. All those touches are predictable given the last-gen model, but you might not expect what's under the hood. The new Tundra swaps its predecessor's 381-horsepower 5.7-liter V8 with a 3.4-liter twin-turbo V6, but here's the kicker, the TRD Pro is exclusively offered with the redesigned Tundra's hybrid iForce Max V6. Versus the V8, the hybrid system increases horsepower and adds more than 100 lbft of torque, bringing output to a beefy 437 horsepower and 583 lbft, that's a little less power but a lot more twist than the EcoBoost V6 in the F-150 Raptor, too. Toyota also makes aesthetic changes. Up front, the grille gets bold Toyota lettering in place of the traditional badge, as well as an integrated light bar set to increase side visibility with the high beams on. All TRD Pros also feature interesting and somewhat polarizing trim around the wheel wells and tailgate that resembles digital camel, fake carbon fiber, or chopped up plastic, or maybe all three. Quicker and more efficient. In some environments, the hardware pays dividends. The TRD Pro with the hybrid V6 is 0.4 to 0.5 second quicker to 60 miles per hour than its non-hybridized counterparts, accomplishing the sprint in 5.7 seconds. That result is also 1.1 second quicker than what we recorded with the previous generation 2021 TRD Pro and its old V8. Plus, the new TRD Pro will tow 11,175 pounds. Although fuel economy wasn't a priority in developing the hybrid system low and torque was the goal, the new TRD Pro is significantly more efficient than its predecessor anyway. The 2022 TRD Pro with the hybrid V6 is rated at 1820 mpg city-slash-highway, compared to ratings of 1317 for the old model and 1518 mpg for Ford's V6 Raptor. Because of the lift and off-road tires, the hybrid TRD Pro is actually less efficient than some non-hybrid Tundras, however. Toyota's toughest Tundra also includes Toyota's enormous 14.0-inch touchscreen infotainment system. The display is mounted high on the dash, and wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard. We like the large font, colorful interface, and Google Assistant integration, even if the system has no home screen where one might, say, display both navigation and music, and lacks high levels of customization. That said, you can display NAV on the center screen and music info in the digital instrument cluster, or vice versa. The TRD is expectedly capable away from pavement, too. We took the bulliest tundra over a huge offset articulation test, up a steep boulder-littered incline, through deep sand, and over tall humps to evaluate approach, breakover, and departure angles. 
These events put to work the TRD Pros for a WD system alongside its lift, rear diff, and all-terrain tires. We encountered no issues with clearance or traction. But what gives with underscore 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 underscore? With all that in mind, though, the off-road experience was not without its foibles. First, multiple judges called out Toyota's decision due to an internal safety policy, were told to limit the function of the rear differential lock to 4 low. This choice had us constantly switching between high and low gear ratios, and it limits usability in higher speed, low traction environments like sand dunes or muddy back roads. We confirmed the decision was a result of a Toyota safety policy. The controls for accessing and or customizing various off-road functions are also scattered throughout the cabin seemingly at random, almost as an afterthought. Most troubling, though, were multiple quality issues. One editor managed to overheat the transmission, an issue that didn't crop up in any of the other six trucks we ran through the same course. The articulation test elicited concerning metallic clunks and scraping sounds from the undercarriage. Some online digging found forum members who blamed the problem on a skid plate that rubs against the frame. Three of four doors sounded normal, but the rear driver's side door closure emitted a noise features editor Scott Evans likened to an old metal garden shed and head of editorial Ed Lowe called a hollow, cheap, sheet metal flexing kathunk. No other Tundra we've driven has this issue, perhaps our TRD probe missed out on some internal sound deadening or similar mitigation at the factory. Other staffers mentioned inconsistent panel gaps, mediocre interior quality, squeaky rear seats, a shaking tailgate, and frequent infotainment system crashes. We reached out to Toyota regarding the quality issues. The company has yet to address all of the problems, the door and underbody noises among them, but admits customers may have faced infotainment issues on early models. It also stated it has made various unspecified improvements and enhancements. We will update this story with more information as it's provided to us. Buyers look toward Toyota for exceptional build quality and reliability. Although we can't speak to long-term ownership, and the issues presented in our test truck may not be consistent across all Tundras, our experience runs in marked contrast to Toyota's long-standing reputation. That said, even if the new TRD Pro had Golden Age Toyota build quality, it wouldn't be a transcendent truck. For instance, anyone hoping the off-roader's unique suspension, smaller wheels, and taller tire sidewalls would improve the big pickup's ride quality over non-TRD models will be just as disappointed as we were. The ride sends a constant jiggle through the cabin even on relatively smooth roads. Body motions aren't particularly well controlled, either. The TRD Pro is also noisy inside. We noted abundant wind noise, plus tire roar from the all-terrain rubber. Additionally, Toyota pipes a grumble of fake V8 engine noise through the audio system. It sounds convincingly burly, but we wish we could rein it in for a quiet drive. Finally, there's the towing behavior. With 10,000 pounds behind the TRD Pro, we encountered significant axle hop, and the rear end of the truck felt bullied around by the trailer. The hybrid powertrain, although smooth, was noticeably burdened by a trailer more than 1,000 pounds shy of the vehicle's quoted capacity. The steering felt concerningly light versus the unladen truck, as well, and the tow backup assist was tricky to find and minimally useful when we figured it out. For what it's worth, though, the standard mirrors provide a huge field of view. It's gonna be a pass. Despite offering reasonable value in the segment, even on paper the Tundra TRD Pro is difficult to recommend over a Chevy Silverado ZR2, GMC Sierra at 4X, Ram Rebel, or Ford F-150 Raptor. And doing so becomes even harder with it putting Toyota's reputation for quality on unstable ground. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.